Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ina and today I have another houseplant type of video. I just want to show you my tiny collection of houseplants, what I have in here, what I noticed with my plants. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps me a lot. Let's start. All of my houseplants, they are potted in organic medium. I didn't want to go with anything fancy that I couldn't keep up. So they are potted in soil. Some of them maybe with moss and bark or perlite. If you see them growing nicely, it's just <laughs> some matter of observing them and seeing when they need water fertilizing or all of these sorts of things. I will show you the plants that are not here as well. These are not everything, but most of them are around here. I have different examples of house plants and I find them, I found their leaves so, so beautiful and uh, incredible. They are not expensive. <laughs> they are not rare in any sorts or kind of ways. Just to let you know, most of them were gifted by someone to me, which is so special. And uh, I love exchanging plants with people as well. I have here my money plants or my peperomia. I don't remember the name, the full name here, but I will link the names on the screen. This one is the easiest one. This plant is so easy to look after. So if you're starting with house plants and you don't know where to start, I would recommend to you this one. This, it's so easy to grow so well. It's so fast. It's not fancy in any sort of way. You can grow it in intermediate light. It will enjoy and appreciate. I had it, this one, my mother-in-law gave me one leaf. So it was, it grew from one leaf cutting and it became this monster full of, of of springs. So I have many babes around this pot. The only reason why the leaves are not the most amazing perfect ones is because I have an ongoing infestation with thrips. They attacked my house plants as well. But this plant is very very easy to take care of. So if you're a beginner and uh, you want to try one house plant, <laughs> this one is definitely one that you should try. And it's a very cheap one. You won't spend any money on it. It will grow nicely and I'm sure if I have friends that have plants, someone will have this one because they're very, very common house plant. I have one thing that I want to show you. This one, it's the variegated one. It's the same plant, but it's variegated. That's a friend from Instagram, Gonzalo. He sent it to me. I'm so happy. Uh, he's probably not watching it, but if he does, I may send it to him. Just to say thank you, Gonzalo. Oh, it's my baby. I have to report it sometime soon. I'm so happy with it. I'm sure it will grow nicely as well. Maybe one day I can show you as a big specimen like this one. So that's my peperomia. I have here another peperomia. I forgot the name as well. I link it. I place it on the screen what I think it is. Again, this one my mother-in-law gave me a cutting. She had it. She gave me a cutting. She lost hers. But it's very easy to, to care for. I've sprayed these was some kitchen stuff and uh, it became a pot when in 2020 when I had my creative moment. Peperomias are quite affordable plants. Most of them, not everything, you know, but there are so many varieties out there. But you can find them in supermarkets, flower shops, grocery stores, everywhere. And they are pretty affordable and they are pretty easy to care for. Especially the money plant one. Amazing, amazing plant. So I'm gonna come to the things that are closer to me. This one is not as affordable as this one, but I wouldn't say that it's expensive as well. This is the Alocasia Black Velvet. I bought it as a... This one I bought, nobody gave me. <laughs> I thought it is a baby plant, very, very small. It grew so quickly and so nice. It's not as, as quickly as this one, but it's not a difficult alocasia, at least not in my experience. It is spotted in, in soil with perlite. It's growing so nice and it's producing some offshoots here. It looks very velvety, but it's not velvet when you touch it. It's like a hard leaf. That's what how I would describe. It has a very nice dark green tone to its leaves. So I adore it. I adore the color of the leaves of this alocasia. I have another alocasia here. It's this one. This one is a friend of mine, a Chiara. She gave me a, not a bulb or like a bulb, a part of her alocasia. I'm not sure how it's called. 
and uh, I bearded it inside moss and I covered with bark. I thought, oh, I think it's a good way to propagate it. This one is alocasia fidec, by the way, and I think it worked. Look at that. Look at the amount of roots that this pot has. Yeah, it's completely root bound and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven growths. My alocasia fridec has seven growths. <laughs> it will be a monster someday soon. I can't wait to see how it will look like. I'm thinking about doing a video about alocasia. Let me know if you would like to see it down below. So I have only these two alocasias. I have here my Calathea. I have reported that in this video here uh, on YouTube. It's growing super, super nicely as well. I love the leaves. Look at the leaves of this plant. I have reported this one and this one. They both grow so nice. They were affected with thrips, so the leaves had some marks. And also, there was one week that I couldn't keep on top of my watering, so they, the leaves became a little bit brownish. Because these plants, they, they need humidity. So some people think they are trickier than other house plants that I've showed you. Because if you don't water them enough, they will complain. <laughs> they need their humidity, but they don't need a lot of lighting. So you can keep on your shelving without any artificial lighting and they will grow nicely. These are becoming like big, big, big plants as well. Especially these ones. Look at that. And uh, I have roots on the pot, I can see the root system as well. And I love the leaves of these plants, the leaves are amazing. So I have some philodendrons, I'm gonna give you some close-ups of the ones that are not on the table. Again, I don't have rare plants, <laughs> because orchid is basically my main stuff. I love house plants, but I never want to spend, I never had money actually, because orchids are much cheaper than like rare house plants. Usually orchids are much, much, much more affordable. So I never had money actually to spend on them. What I have are, are cuttings that someone gave me or one another common house plants that I bought. One example that I have here is the Philodendron micans. So Chiara, my friend that gave to me the Hoyas, she gave to me this cutting as well. This one is very velvet and is velvet to the touch as well. Has beautiful dark leaves. And when you look on the back of it, you can see the, it's like reddish tone. This is the type of philodendron that you can have as a trailing plant. People have it as a trailing plant. I can't wait it to grow. It will look very, very nice. I do have another cutting on the water that I need to pot with this one. I'm a little bit lazy. I should have done that sooner. I do have the Philodendron Prince of Orange, this one I bought as a tiny, tiny, tiny baby. It wasn't expensive, but I thought, oh, I really want to have a plant that has orange leaves. So I got this one. You probably can't see anything from there, but I will place a picture of a big one here on the screen. This will become a big plant someday, I hope, if I don't kill it before it. And I have other Philodendrons. I don't find Philodendrons very difficult to grow, but I have only common type of philodendron so that's as a caveat here i have philodendron vericosum that's in my bathroom i'm probably showing you my philodendron vericosum right now it's beautiful i love i love especially when the new leaf open it's amazing the thing is everybody says that philodendron vericosum attracts pests have nothing so some of the leaves were affected as well by my ongoing infestation but anyway i find until now I didn't have any problems with it. The only thing is that it's growing like a, the, the bottom doesn't have any leaves. The leaves are only towards the top. I need to fix that at some way. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I have my philodendron red emerald that's just on, on the back of this table. It grows super nicely as well, which has a moss pole now. Done some cuttings and I put on the water and I'm gonna place it together because I want the moss to be full of a new growth soon. Again, it's, I think, a hybrid, so it's a common philodendron. This one, my friend had another friend, like from two years ago, she gave to me one cutting. That's how it is now. And then the last philodendron that I have, again, a friend gave to me a cutting, is the philodendron Brazil. Brazil is my country, so I found it pretty amazing to have it here. 
It's a very common house plant as well. Thrips love it. Haha, <laughs> that's why the leaves are not the most amazing at the moment. I have it in a self-watering system. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I create that. I have here some fiber inside this pot and I fill it with water and uh, it loves it. It loves it so because it drinks a lot of water. I may cut it as well a little bit to fill this pot. I'm having it as a trailing plant, but I think you can also attach it to a moss pole if you want. I want to have it as a trailing plant and I'm very happy with the result. It grows super hot, quite quickly, no problem whatsoever with this plant. Oh, and before I go, people love this plant because of the variegation and other people hate it because it has yellow variegation. And nowadays I think uh, white variegation is, is the trend. I, I love the yellow with light green and everything. I think all of them are beautiful in their own way, but that is taste, so people are different. Let me know if you like Philodendron Brazil or not. Caladian, it's a common Caladian. I bought in a local garden center as a tiny, tiny seedling as well. I have reported it here. I link the video down below where I talk about Caladian care in more details. It's growing nicely. I had to treat as well. So the leaves suffered a little bit, but I don't have anything to complain about this Caladian. Oh yes, <laughs> I have this one is the Lacunosa. It's growing nicely under my growing light. I have two Hoyas or no, three Hoyas under my growing lights, two on my window sills. The Sunrise is the one that's growing, uh, is the fastest grower of all of the, my Hoyas. So if you wanna have one Hoya that grows super quickly, I would advise you to get a Hoya Sunrise because, oh my gosh, it grows like nothing. I will link you the videos where I talk more about my Hoyas down below then you can see which type of Hoyas I have at home. I don't have many. I have basically, I have the Lacunosa, I have the Sunrise, Tom Sun Yai, I think, and there are three more Hoyas, but they are all tiny. I do have one Begonia that would need water, so <laughs> it was pretty dehydrated before I filmed. I don't want to show you. She's so beautiful, but oh, she was a little bit sad. I love this begonia because it has like a reddish leaves and I don't have any begonia. I think it's one of these uh, rats type of begonia. And I, I love it because in the middle of my greenery, it makes a difference. It's the same thing with this plant that I forgot the name now, but I will link down below. I really like it because of the pinkish leaves. Everything's green. Most of my orchids are not in bloom all the time. So they don't have this difference in patterns on their leaves. And I do have some green leaf tip plants that I love as well. But I like to place one of these colorful leaves in, I don't know, in the middle of them. It creates an atmosphere, <laughs> but that's personal taste again. I, I really like it. This one my brother-in-law gave me. He bought one for him and one for me. That concludes my, my tour around this table. I will show you around just to let you know what else I have in here. I have very common house plants such as PC Lily that's very sad right now because I haven't walked through it in a long time so I won't show you. <laughs> that was a cutting as well from my mother-in-law. She became a big monster right now. I do have some cacti. I have two cacti. I don't have any tags for them. I have one iris that I pot the bulbs. I have a video where I pot my iris bulbs as well. I will link it down below. So this one is my iris bulb that I mentioned that I potted here. So I hope to see some iris blooms, who knows? So I have here my string of pearls. Again, another common house plant that's growing nicely. Another succulents, I have succulents here, cacti, succulents. I know this one's a peperomia, okay, that's the succulent. They got attacked by, by, by pests as well, so I had to repot them. But they are growing nicely now. I don't have any, any tags for these. I have my anthurium, just a very common anthurium, don't have any other one. This one is suffering a lot. It's always with pests, it's always unhappy. I treat it at least more than once a week for thrips. And it's always with thrips. I don't know what to do with that. I didn't know. I don't know. Honestly, it's the most difficult plant for me to treat is this anthurian. Oh, when I have a snake plant, I do. Believe it or not, it's not the most amazing one because one pot fell on top of it. But I do have a snake plant because a very common plant in my country. Everybody has it in, in their garden. They say that protect you, protect your home. <laughs> So I don't know if it does, but I do believe in it. 
So I will keep my eggplant. egg plant. It's a very easy to care for plant, one of the easiest I would say. And again, just before I conclude this video, these are other common house plants that I have. Not say that I don't love them or anything. They're just here growing. Some of them look nicer than others. So that was everything that I wanna show you today. I hope you have enjoyed the tour around my house plants. If you want to leave me any comments down below, I would be super happy to reply to any questions that you have or any suggestions. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm at one orchid a day there where I post most pictures of my orchids, but I'm always placing stories and reels about my houseplants as well. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.